Okay, so welcome guys. I'm glad you're here today and uh, in this episode I wanted to show you all a program called Spark, which is an email client. Um, it's a pretty cool email client. Um, you know, I've tried many email clients over the years, uh, even, um, uh, you know, of course I'm on a Mac, so I have used Mac Mail, and then of course I also used Airmail, and um, I believe I used Newton at one point in time. But um, I have found that Spark actually works really well for my workflow and uh, getting things done. So as you see here, um, I have Spark opened up, and the cool thing about uh, Spark is it has this um, thing called Smart Inbox. It also has the classic inbox. And what the smart inbox does is it classifies uh, incoming mail uh, as, um, you know, uh, a newsletter or might classify it as, you know, uh, personal or what have you. And so it classifies that so into categories and you can go through those categories. Now, if you don't want to look at that smart, you can always click on classic and it just gives everything in a streamlined look as it came into your email client. So another cool thing here about Spark is, is that you can uh, either right click on this and export your uh, mail into uh, different uh, programs or you can mark it as spam, archive, you can do most what you can do in other email clients. But of course, what I like about it is its capability of putting a um, mail item into uh, as a task inside a Todoist. And so what I like about it is that this um, will make it as a uh, task inside of Todoist as a link that you can use um, to access it later. And so uh, that's one way you can do it. Also, if you go up here to uh, the three dots here, you can also go to Todoist here. And this gives you a kind of a different dialog box, whereas it will save in the in the content section of Todoist um, everything about this uh, email, uh, or you can just save it as a link. So it links back to the original uh, article inside of Todoist. And so when I when I uh, so let's say for instance I save it here as email and I hit save. Okay. Now if I go into Todoist here. So here it is right here, down here at the bottom, saying you're looking to form a band, open email in Spark. But if you look here at the comments, if you click on that, there is the body of the email right here. Okay. Now that is uh, one of the best, I think, features of this. Now I know you can do this also in uh, Newton Mail as well, uh, but um, I do like that integration here with uh, Spark. Now, another cool thing that they've uh, implemented recently is the calendar option here. And the calendar option can read your uh, Google Calendar. And so you don't have to go to a different app to see. So let's say in the morning time, like I have morning ritual, I check my email and I check my calendar. So I don't have to go outside of this email client because it's got calendar integration inside here. So I can just skip over here and oh, yeah, this is what I got to do. Voila, voila. And so that's that. Uh, and of course you have uh, your customary uh, sent folders, your drafts, your pins. So as you see here, I have um, some things uh, pinned here. Well, when I have a long list of um, items, we have a long list of items in here and um, maybe I want to get to this later. I can always pin one of those uh, emails to the top so I know to handle it later. Now, of course, uh, you like I say, you have the pins here, so you can always ask us your pins and maybe you got more pins. Maybe you've uh, got some that you've already archived, but you kind of want to reference it later. Uh, it's right in here. Uh, then, of course, you have archive, all your archived um, stuff. And so another cool thing here is is let's say for instance I want to archive this there's an archive button here and then of course you also have a delete button you can also snooze this for a later time maybe you have an email that came in and you want to snooze it to a later time and then of course you have mark as unread and then you got uh, where you can also move it to a folder if you so desire 
and like I say here are all the different things that you can do uh, within um, Spark. Uh, Spark is also um, available on iOS devices as well. I'm not sure if it's um, on Android, but I do know it is on iOS as well. Uh, like I say, here's all your snooze stuff. So if you snooze something, you can always access it here. Um, you got reminders as well. You can set a reminder on one of your uh, tasks. You can also, uh, here's your where your spam's at, and you can empty your spam really easily. And of course, trash, you can empty out really easily as well. Uh, in the more area, you have a shared area where you can share with other people your emails. You can also, uh, here's all the different uh, email um, accounts I have. And then, of course, I have some uh, folders as well. So, like I say, this is uh, a really awesome uh, email client. If you haven't tried it yet, I suggest uh, checking it out. It's a pretty, pretty cool uh, uh, email client. Uh, when you go here to create an email, it's pretty straightforward. Um, also, over here in the preferences, uh, you have several different preferences you can select. You also have teams. You can create a team if you want. Uh, of course, me being by myself, I don't really have a team, so therefore, um, I don't use that. All your accounts you can have here. You can set up aliases for your accounts, and you can also uh, um, do other things here. You got notifications, smart notifications, and such. Uh, you got your signatures that you can uh, include. Your smart inbox, you can um, you know do the preference on the smart inbox. You also have folders. You can select which folders you want to show and which ones you don't. Snoozes, it tells you uh, the time frames that you can do snoozes for. Services, you can select which services you want to be able to uh, forward things to. Uh, so for instance, I have Todoist, Everdote, and Asana because that's what I mainly use, but it also does reminders, OmniFocus, to do things, Wonderlist, Bear, Trello, OneNote, OneNote, and then, of course, you have quick replies, so you can also, um, maybe you just want to do a quick reply and you have a like or a thanks, and you got all these little cute little things that you can uh, do to your uh, emails. Uh, badges, and you got that right there. And then, of course, uh, shortcuts. You can set up your shortcuts however you want. And then, of course, the cal calendar integration uh, right here. And uh, it also shows you any kind of event alerts and this and that. And you can set up all kinds of different pre preferences uh, for your calendar. So now if you have any questions uh, and you want those answered down there in the comment section, please feel free to uh, put your comment down there. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, please click on the like button as well as subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. And so without further ado, I want to wish you all an awesome day. And let's become more productive. Thank you.